Today I wanna to show you a really cool workaround to see each of your conversion actions separated out and added into the columns in the Google Ads dashboard. I just think this is super cool. I hope it helps you guys quickly and easily glance through your numbers and see what's going on in your business. Hey guys, it's Regina here with Starter PPC. Today I wanna to show you a really cool workaround to see each of your conversion actions separated out and added into the columns in the Google Ads dashboard. It's really handy, especially in scenarios where, you know, you might be capturing leads from a web form and you might also be capturing leads um, from incoming calls and you might also have a lead magnet, right? And you wanna see how many conversions did I get of each? it becomes especially handy um, in a, two different scenarios that we run into all the time. One is where you know we're running call extensions, which is where people can just click on the phone number straight, straight from the ad and they actually never visit the site. Those tend to bring in lots of leads, but also low quality leads. So it's really nice to be able to separate those out and view them really quickly when we see them in the dashboard. Like, okay, we can see the total amount of conversions, but how many were call, you know, call extension leads because those are probably like 80% low quality. Um, I mean, that's just, a, I'm just throwing numbers around. I don't know if 80% is a realistic number, but you know what I mean? If you're working on quality, call extensions are always gonna be lower than the other leads. Um, another scenario where you would really wanna be able to quickly view the, the, the different types of leads instead of bundling them all into one is when you're running any local ads, right? So if you're a local business, you have a Google My Business um, uh, uh, profile and you, your business shows up on Google Maps and then you link that with Google Ads, Google Ads is gonna run some, uh, most campaigns will, nowadays will run the local ads extension um, and then it starts to automatically track every single person who clicked on driving directions from the local ads, every single person who clicked to call from the local ads, every single person who clicked over to the website from the local ads, right? So it views all of these people as a conversion, a local ads conversion, and then it starts to include those in your conversions column. So it's nice to see how many people did look up the driving directions, but you wanna separate that out and see that quickly in a column. Okay, so here's the workaround. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you how this is built. Okay, so I'm gonna put my face over here. First thing I'm gonna do in this account is um, show you guys by separating, I'm gonna, I'm gonna segment by conversions and then conversion action. I'm gonna show you which conversion actions are we even following. Let me close this little graph here. Okay, now that I've now that I've turned on segment by conversion action, I can see in each campaign in the conversions column, which conversion action did the conversion come from? So for example, this top campaign had um, calls from ads was one conversion, contact form submissions, 19, okay? So calls from ads is the call extension that I mentioned before. Um, this is you know important because it brings in more leads, but it might be a low quality lead. I wanna be able to see that. I wanna see that one, in a column and I wanna see 19 in a column. I don't wanna to have to do segment by conversion actions because it's very cumbersome to have to look through and dig through the conversion actions this way. So here's, here's how you can set this up, okay? I'm gonna first turn off segment and then I'm gonna go over to the columns area. So in the columns area, scroll down and under customize columns, we're gonna just make ourselves a custom column. Actually, we're gonna make two, one for each of the conversion actions. So the first one I'm gonna make is gonna be called calls from ads, right? Which is basically the call extension, but I know what that means. You hear description, I'll write call extension. All right, and uh, yeah, number is good because we're just tracking the number of leads in this case. All right, so what we want is we wanna do conversions. Now I really like I really like the conversions by conversion time um, metric rather than just conversions because it shows you it shows you the conversion on the day the conversion actually happened, whereas the conversions column will just show you the the conversions on the day of the first click, right? Which could have been months ago. So I like this one. All we really want to see is the amount of conversions 
but we want to turn on a filter. Now this, you guys, I have been, I have been working with Google ads now for almost four years and I never noticed this filter, uh, call this filter area over here on the right. This is why I'm making this video because I'm assuming there are people out there like me who missed it as well. Maybe you guys are all just way more observant than me and you've been using this for years and I'm the only one who's been in the dark, but <laughs> just in case, here's a video. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna filter by conversion action, right? So in this particular custom column, we wanna see conversions, but we only wanna see conversions from calls from ads. Great, so it's named, it's filtered. We've got the metric in there. I'm gonna save it. Hi there, quick interruption. Do you know the main thing that prevents small business owners from getting their Google Ads account into a position to grow and scale? Budget. A lot of businesses, especially those that are just starting out, have limited budgets. And so because of this, they're turned away by most ad agencies because most ad agencies have minimum budget thresholds that they're willing to work with. So what happens is the business owners end up learning Google Ads themselves. And the problem with that is that most of the advice online is geared towards larger accounts. And the advice doesn't have any of those strategies or tricks that can kickstart the algorithm into giving a small account a leg up over larger competitors. So it often just doesn't work and the business just ends up losing money month over month. If this sounds familiar, Starter PPC can help. We offer Google Ads management services that are designed for accounts that have between $1,000 and $5,000 budgets. And because all of our clients are just starting out, we've come up with ways to keep our management fees significantly lower than most agencies. Because we know that every dollar saved on management fees just goes towards the ad budget, which is gonna help the algorithm gather speed and power. So if you're serious about growing your business and you'd like a team of Google Ads experts to help you without breaking the bank, check us out at starterppc.com. Okay, back to the video. I'm gonna make two columns, right? So let's go through this process one more time because I have also the contact form submissions. So let's make contact form submissions. Uh, I'll just I'll just put contact form. Yeah, and then again, conversions by conversion time, conversions by conversion time, and I'm gonna filter by conversion action this time from contact form. Now you can uh, see here, by the way, uh, local actions. This is what I was talking about before. If you're running local ads, trust me, you'll have like 40 leads that of people that just looked up driving directions. Now it's really great that people are looking up driving directions using the local ads, great to track, but it kind of throws off your cost per lead, right? If you have uh, 40, if you have 19, contact form submissions and 40 people who looked up driving directions, well, contact form submissions are going to be really high quality leads. They're in your address book. You're giving them phone calls. They're very interested, right? Whereas someone who just clicked the driving directions button might have shown up in your office. They might have walked in. We'll never know. Maybe they just wanted to see how far away you were. Maybe they clicked it by accident. Maybe they, I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Oftentimes, uh, that's how local ads are, right? So it's unknown amounts of leads, unknown quality as well. Okay, so now that we have our two columns, make sure that there's a checkbox next to both of them, calls from ads, contact form. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring, uh, I'll just leave these here. So you can see here that they're under the your columns um, section, which means they're gonna show up in my dashboard. You can drag them around if you want them to show up on the left side of the dashboard, we put them at the top of the list here. Okay, and then we're gonna hit apply. There they are, our new columns. Check it out, I've got one call from ads, 19 from contact forms. I might wanna rename these a little bit, like I would put actually, we should probably have named them conversions from call extensions and conversions from contact form submissions, you know, so it's really descriptive. Um, but when I hop in, I can see instead of just seeing the total amount of conversions being 59 this past 30 days, I can see that the nine, nine came from uh, call extension and 50 came from contact form. I just think this is super cool. I hope it helps you guys quickly and easily glance through your numbers and see what's going on in your business. Um, uh, you know, knowing this, you might say, oh, OK, well, I really I'm finding that the incoming call leads are actually we want more of those because we like talking to people, right? So this number, now that you have it in a column, you could really try to focus your ads on getting that number up.
Hey everyone, Regina here at Starter PPC. Today I want to talk to you about the overpacing, underpacing um, spend schedule that we like to use here at Starter PPC. You can too. Um, we find it to